said in his word in Acts chapter 19 in verses 11 that there were handkerchiefs and aprons that were took from Paul the apostle. And the Bible said they took those handkerchiefs and aprons to those that were demon possessed and those that were sick. And the Bible said that the devils were cast out and the sick were healed just from a handkerchief and an apron. An apron and a handkerchief that the man of God wore every time he preached. Amen. A handkerchief that truly he wiped the sweat from his brow with. A handkerchief, amen, that often he wiped the tears, amen, glory to God, from his eyes because he felt like he didn't have enough for help. Because at times Paul said, I've been left alone. Come on, somebody, with nobody to assist me or to help me. Sometimes, amen, the handkerchief, amen, glory to God, from the labor, amen, of knuckles that were bleeding, amen, and hands that were callous, amen, to walk. Amen. With, but from that labor and from that work, come on, somebody. Amen. God said, I will do special miracles. I want to prophesy with a handkerchief in my hand today. God says, Your handkerchief amen, represents your work, it represents your labor, it represents the blood, the sweat, and the tears. And God said to prophesy special miracles will issue forth from your labor of love toward my name. For God said, I am faithful and I will not forget how you have loved my name and how you have labored in love and minister to my saints and do minister. Hebrews 6 and verses 10. If you got a hanky with you, if you got a handkerchief with you, if you got to get a tissue, find you something of something and wave it up in the air and say my word. And the Lord is not in faith. God said they ain't been one tear I have. Amen. Glory to God. I got it in my bottle. It is not going to recognize all the sweat and all the labor. I prophesy the special among you. The special miracles. Come on, somebody. God's about to do in your midst. That is special. That is unique. Because you've held on to your handkerchief. You've held on to your cup. When you could have passed it on to somebody else, you held it and said, God, if I got to hold it by myself, God said, I'm going to do miracles because you held on to it. 